everyone. Welcome to Good Moves with Well and Good. My name is Brian from East River Pilates, and today we are gonna be doing a nice 10-ish minutes for your glutes featuring the Bala Bangles. Now, you do not need to have these if you do not have them. This is gonna be great no matter what. If you do have them, strap them on because we're gonna get a little steamy. We're gonna start standing, taking the hands to the hips. You're gonna go ahead and find those feet about outer hip distance, nothing crazy, but just right outside those hip bones. And you're gonna take a big inhale, sit down into the heels, and then exhale, big juicy squat. Inhale to bend, exhale to press. Nice, beautiful. Now, as you do this, you wanna really find that those hips kind of reach back and then go forward. So we're not trying to go too down and cover the toes with our knees, but instead really find how those knees can be right over those heels. Good. Nice. You should already be feeling a little bit of work in the glute max, the big portion of your butt cheeks there. Nice. The next time that you're down in that squat, hold that squat here. You're gonna lift the heel of the right foot. Keep that right heel of the foot lifted and keep the hips really centered over both feet. You're just gonna take a little pulse. Yeah, getting deeper and deeper, feeling a lot in that left glute, but also trying to feel a lot in that right glute as well. You might feel a little bit of quad work as well. We love that, nice. The next time you're down, you'll stay down, keep in this left heel, and now shift the hips a little bit more over to the left, taking weight out of the right foot. Step this right leg out, step this right leg in. Side scooter, nice. There's always something so dramatic about side scooter. I feel like it's very like chorus liney. So if you wanna get a little spicy shoulder in there, do it. You're gonna feel this outer left glute really lighting up, this glute mead. This is testing how we can keep all of our weight in one leg. It's working all the muscles of balance in your left leg. There's a lot of balance going on here. So you might also feel work in the muscles around the ankle, maybe around the knee, but really feel that hip. Nice. Step this right leg out. Keep that left heel peeling back. You're gonna go ahead, flex this foot, lift it up one inch and lower. There's still a good bend in this left knee. If you wanna make it a little harder already, you can deepen the bend. If you need to come up and out of it a little bit, amazing, nice. If you're like, what muscles are we working? It's basically the same muscles plus some that you would work if you would lie down on your side and do those little leg lifts, the side lying series. This is the same thing, just a little bit more. Nice, you're gonna lift the leg up. Now we're gonna make it a little bit deeper. Lower it down, take a big crease at the left hip. <sighs> big exhale, lift it up. Nice, you're just getting deeper into, and deeper into this left hip while finding a lot more work for our balance muscles and still a lot of work in this right thigh. This bangle is really helping us feel that right outer hip, giving us a little bit of extra work in that outer hip. Whew, you should be feeling it. You go for three, nice. You go for two. Okay, this is where it gets like way more fun. Lift this up. Now, step over onto this leg, take a big curtsy lunge, back up, and we fall over into this left leg again. We keep doing that. So you press up, take a curtsy lunge, feel that right glute, and now feel that left glute. Keep going here. The best thing about this kind of exercise is you're working both glutes, just like we were before with that little leg lift. But now you're taking all of those muscles that we fired up and you're putting them a little bit more to use in a side to side action and movement that you actually tend to do pretty often in your day to day life. Maybe not just like this, but anytime you walk side to side. Beautiful. We'll go for about three more here. Love it. And two. Nice. You come all the way up, meet in a little squat, both feet down. Just take a little pulse here. Feel both glutes nice and alive for five, four, three, two. Hot cross buns. Press all the way up. Go ahead, touch your toes a bit. Nice. Maybe get a little sway side to side there. Bend those knees. Come all the way up to stand and give a little shake, shake, shake. We do it all again. Hands go to the hips. You're gonna go ahead and bend those knees. Now, we're gonna start right away with the heel of that left foot nice and lifted. You're gonna go down one inch, up one inch. Little pulse here, good. Do not compare and contrast these two sides. 
We do use both glutes when we're doing this exercise. Even when you're really feeling like that outer hip of that stable standing supporting leg, that working leg, that moving leg is still really alive. So you will feel this sooner and stronger. Nice, you might already be feeling it now. I know. You're gonna go ahead, stay down, take all of your weight into this right foot. Here you go. One singular sensation. You're gonna step out and step in. Mm hmm I can already feel that right glute is very much alive. She's singing. And we're gonna find here that we're keeping an eyeball on our knee tracking the whole time. So if you start to feel a lot of quad, it's usually an indication that your weight is forward, starting to cover the toes, shift the hips back, and really find that outer hip really alive. Nice. Again, we're working how we can stay on one leg. Very important for balance and for everyday function. We tend to really need like, good, strong muscles to support balance to keep our joints safe. Step this left leg out, Ooh, here we go. Lift it up, lower it down. Lift it up and lower it down, really activating the outer hips and that glute meat at the top of the glutes here. Nice. As you do this, try to avoid opening this left hip back. You want the hips to be really, really square here. And again, you could always challenge this a little bit more by bending that right knee a little bit deeper. I just felt that. Good, nice. You lift this left leg up, keep this left leg up. Now, lower it down, take a big bend. Big exhale lifts it up, big bend. Now you know what we're warming up towards. We're taking all of these muscles that get really, really uh, activated in small movements, and then we're making that movement a lot bigger to challenge our range of motion a little bit more and our coordination a little bit more. Nice, okay, who's excited? I actually am, because it means that we get to get off of this right glute for a little bit. You're gonna go ahead all the way down. Now, come all the way up, transfer your weight, step the right leg back, curtsy lunge. Hey, all the way up, big lunge down, all the way up, big squat or curtsy lunge. Nice, good. Keep on going here. Again, we're working a little bit of a weight transfer now. So we're using all of these muscles that help keep the glutes, the hips <laughs> and the low back nice and protected. And we're finding how we can really start to do something really every day. So just a side to side change of weight. Beautiful. We go for two, nice. We go for one more and big lunge. We come up, meet in a good squat. You go ahead, lower those hips, take a little pulse and find those glutes. Nice. Keep checking that those knees are going out over the middle two toes. Good, long spine here, we go for three, nice. We go for two, hold it at the bottom, deep inhale, grow the spine, hug the abdominals. Maybe you lower it a little bit more, nice. And then take one big exhale, reach those arms up and take a good forward fold, nice. Whew. Beautiful, maybe walk out those knees a bit, feel the low back get a good release. And hands walk forward, feet walk back. Take a good stretch here. Nice, little downward dog. Again, just getting a good stretch up the backs of the legs. Beautiful. We go ahead, press through both heels, bend both knees down to the mat. You're gonna go ahead and come down onto the forearms here. Shoulders draw back and down, lift between the shoulder blades, pull the back of the head high and look to the top of your mat. You're gonna flex your left foot. Inhale, on an exhale, kick that heel up to the ceiling. Now, we wanna guide the hips to the left here. We wanna make sure that we're not sitting into that right hip, but instead really keep those hip bones square. Inhale, tap, exhale, kick. Nice, firing up into that left glute and hamstring, and really trying to not let that heel start to drift away from your glute. You want to try and maintain that 90 degrees. Good. We're gonna light up the glute max a little bit more. So what we were working before is a little bit more of those muscles on the outer hips, our abductor muscles, that take the leg away from center. Here, we're really finding those muscles that help with low back stability and that are hip extensor muscles. You almost wanna feel that hip flexor getting a stretch as you kick up. Nice, keep this heel nice, high, and lifted. You're gonna stretch this left leg up. Take a good hamstring curl. Stretch, get a good hamstring curl. Now, 
With the forearms down, you tend to be able to get a little higher with the leg without going into the low back. So really go for it. Good, whew, nice. I am feeling this, I hope you are too. <laughs> you go for three, nice. You go for two, this is where it gets fun. Straighten this out. Now, turn the right forearm sideways, left hand stacks on the right, and you're gonna open these hips up over towards the left. You should have just felt that bottom glute really turn on here. You're gonna go ahead, inhale on an exhale, lift this leg up and feel that outer hip now really alive. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now, if you're in this position and you're feeling a lot of tension in your neck, feel free to look down at your right forearm here. We wanna really peel the right hip forward. Nice. And you will again feel this a lot in that bottom hip. With the bangles though, you will also be feeling it in the top hip as your top leg is moving with resistance. Good. Lift this top leg up, hold the top leg up, bend the knee to the elbow and kick it back out. Bend the knee to the elbow and kick it back out. Wow, it is really cooking, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so if you ever need to tap out for a hot second, do it. It is so great to kind of tap out, readjust, and get back into it. Nice, good. It is incredible what a little pulse will do, isn't it? I know, it just takes it from a 10 out of 10 to a 20 out of 10. Good, we go for two. Beautiful. We go for one, <sighs> nice. Are you excited? This is where it gets even more fun. Kick this leg out. Now, press yourself up onto your hands. I know, how do we get here? Back leg is nice and long. Take one hamstring curl, kick it out. Now, drop the right arm down to a forearm, bend in, <sighs> kick out. Hips come nice and parallel across the sides facing down. Hamstring curl and reach. Now, open those hips out, stack the left hip on the right, bend this knee in and reach. Good, keep on going. So we're finding a little bit of upper body work in here as well. Good, and lots of connection to core and glutes. Nice, so important to connect those two for optimal spine protection. Nice, if you're really feeling spicy, you can go ahead and reach an arm up, lower it down and continue. We'll just be here for about five more. Nice. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna start to feel that it's getting harder and harder to stack those hips up the right way. Keep on making sure that you really wrap the left hip down here. Good. Are you shaking? I am. Nice. Let's say this is the last one. Big reach up. Big lower down, keep that leg nice and long. Take a little pulse here for five, four, draw those ribs up, shoulders down, good. Hold it at the top, inhale, exhale. Bend this in, let's take a good child's pose. Deep inhale and deep, deep exhale. Nice, good breath. Inhale and exhale, okay, are we excited? We're gonna be going to the other side. You go ahead, drop on down to the forearms here. Big inhale, on an exhale, you flex the right foot now. Kick that right heel up, tap that right knee down. Nice, big kick up, big tap down. Good, beautiful. Keep those hips over to the right, finding lots of activation in the deep abdominals. And think that you're really keeping your weight even right to left. Nice, beautiful. Kick this up, hold this up, straighten this right leg out and kick. Straighten this right leg out and kick. Nice, really good. How fun is this? I know, 10 out of 10, fun. 20 out of 10 glutes, <laughs> good. Nice, keep on trying to reach that leg high. Reach that leg high. We go for three, nice. Two, straighten this right leg out. This is where it gets really fun. Left forearm comes sideways, right hand goes to that top left hand. You go ahead and lift this up one inch and down one inch, up one inch and down one inch. Nice. Keep wrapping that left hip really forward here and find a lot of draw of the shoulders down. Good. See if you can challenge how high that leg can go. Oh, I am really feeling that second side. I hope you are too. Good. Three, 
two, you lift this up, hold this up, bend this knee in, kick this leg out. Bend this knee in, kick this leg out. Nice, good. We're trying to keep the side waist nice and even and nice and long here. Every single time you bend in, we don't wanna shorten, we wanna keep that side waist long. Two more before we add that pulse, who is so excited? Me. Good, you go ahead and reach it out, big pulse, and bend. Reach this out, big pulse, and bend. Again, I'm looking at my left forearm to reduce neck tension, because this is not super friendly on my neck. Good, nice. One more here, all the way in, all the way out, pulse. Now hold it there. Press up onto your hands, hello. Find that nice, good squaring off of the hips. Bend that heel to the glute, kick it out, drop it down, lift it higher if you can, bend it in, reach it out, keep going. Nice, this is working all parts of your glutes, all parts of your hips. Good. Again, you use both hips here, so if you're really feeling this side a lot more, amazing. Love it. It's like a love letter to your hips. Sometimes it hurts, but it's good for you. Nice, Ooh. bend in, press out, and if you did it on the other side, start to reach that left arm forward, good. Nice, let's do this about five more times. Reaching long, kicking that heel in, good. Working those external rotators of the hips and then working those muscles that help to give us a lot of hip extension and low back support. Two more here. Beautiful, reach it all the way out, lower it down. One last one, oh, it is spicy. All the way up, hold it, deep inhale, deep exhale, deep inhale, bend this down to child's pose, good. Beautiful, letting the breath come in, big exhale out, roll all the way up. And wouldn't you know it, we are all done today. Thank you guys so much for joining. Again, this has been Glute Work with the Bala Bangles. My name is Brian from East River Pilates. For more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe and have a great rest of your day.